Foggy and glasses and goggles in the winter backcountry can be more than annoying. It can be dangerous. Today we talk about a few ways you can address the lens fogging problem. Hello, I'm Jason. I have really bad vision, really bad. We're talking beyond 2020, 2040, 2100, 20, any distance. If we had to hazard a guess, it's beyond 2500. If I get my hand more than about six inches away from my face, it becomes blurry. I'm not a good candidate for laser eye surgery. I also have dry eyes and seasonal allergies. This matters because that, coupled with the problems of freezing liquids, make cold weather climbing in contacts an unattractive option. So I'm left with glasses, and that means prescription sunglasses when the weather is comparatively mild, and prescription inserts in my goggles when the weather is bad. I always have a lens on my face, and lenses in the cold can tend to fog up. Here are four ways that I've attempted to address the problem, going from least to most effective. First, stop looking down. I was told this when I first started receiving instruction in mountaineering. The physics are simple, warm air rises. So when you tilt your head down and exhale, your warm breath rises right up into your face. And while it does help to stop looking down, some warm air still does escape to behind your lenses. And beyond that, I have yet to find a hike or climb I can do without ever looking at my feet. Next on the list is anti-fog compounds. You apply these to your lenses periodically, and it helps prevent the condensation from building. The problem is that this helps, but it isn't a solution. I haven't had anything close to uniform success using these compounds. When I really heat up from working hard, the compounds simply don't seem up to the job. Add in a high collar over your face, pushing air up into your lenses, and forget it. So we move to creating airflow. The idea behind this is creating an air current between you and the back of your lenses, which sweeps the warm air away. There are three ways I've used this technique. With goggles, I've used sets with an embedded fan. I've found that A, the fans aren't powerful enough, and B, you now have another battery that is losing energy too fast because batteries lose energy fast in the cold. Also with goggles, I've tried those models that allow the lens to extend away from the frame, creating that airflow, and this has worked pretty well for me. But the downside is that now there's a gap at the bottom of the lens. And if I'm on snow, that means I'm getting UV rays bouncing from the snow below me up into my eyes. And if that happens for a long enough time, I can get snow blindness. For glasses, if you have glacier glasses, you can remove the side blinders. Those are there to stop the UV rays from coming in from the sides. So removing those blinders suffers from the same problem as I mentioned with the extended goggle lens. It's a little less severe of a problem because you aren't looking sideways as often as you're looking down, but it's still a problem. Which takes us to masks. Most masks contribute to lens fogging. They don't necessarily help resolve the problem, but I have found one, and you've seen it in other videos of mine, particularly my short on heat exchange masks. It's called an air trim mask, and it was designed for asthmatic athletes in order to heat the air you breathe in to help combat bronchial constriction. It does that, but here's what it also does. It's a somewhat long mask, and therefore it extends the exit of your warm breath to beyond your lenses. That is, if you can get all of your expelled breath to funnel through the filter. So to do that, I have super glued Polartec fabric, which you can buy cheaply by the yard, to the portion that sits on my cheekbones. This prevents any expelled air from getting up behind my lenses. Now all the warm air is pushed in front of the lenses. I've used the mask in really cold places, really cold, Alaska, the Himalaya, and others. And I've used it while working very hard, generating a lot of heat. It has been the solution that has finally proved to be an actual solution, more than just a help to my winter lens fogging problem. 
Thanks for coming all the way to the end of this video. Please hit that like button, ring that bell, and subscribe. Check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. Do you have a winter backcountry annoyance that you would like help solving? Drop a comment and maybe we can all help each other out. Until next week, keep on getting more out of that big outside.